So Pepper and I are just walking through the woods right now, and I decided to make a video about leash reactivity. Pepper used to be extremely uh, leash reactive, and whenever she would see another dog, she would just freak out like crazy. I mean, even sometimes I couldn't even be within like 300 yards of a dog or she would be freaking out. But now she's not like that. Um, but I've run into several people, whether at PetSmart or just walking down the sidewalk, and their dog is really reactive and they'll just say something to me like, I don't know why my dog acts that way. Well, the reason why your dog acts that way is because you let it happen. And that's why Pepper used to be reactive, is because I let it happen. But, um, Pepper, come. Jump. Good girl. Um, another reason why it happens, or why it's so amplified. Pepper, come. She's starting to get the zoomies. Heel. Um it gets amplified when your dog is actually just pulling on the leash in general, even if there's not any other, um, you know, stimuli out there. If your dog just drags you down the sidewalk, um, you know, basically the problem will never be fixed. So you have to have perfect leash manners at all times um, if you want reactivity to be solved. But I signed up for the Shield Canine Reactivity course as well as the off-leash course and that's where I learned how to fix the problem and um, yeah basically it took a lot of work and a lot of consistency but I eventually got to a point where um, she no longer will bark or lunge or do any of that if there is a dog that's you know going crazy and freaking out in front of her she might start whining a little bit, but I just correct that and then she'll stop. But um, anyway, so if you have a dog that's reactive, stop letting it do that and stop letting it pull on the leash. And if you want further information, make sure you sign up for the Shield Canine Reactivity course. It's about $150 and it's well worth every penny.